Hi everybody, my name is Becca and I am a co-author of the Dissociative Living blog on HealthyPlace.com. I read in so much literature and hear from so many people about the misconceptions that they have around dissociative identity disorder, also known as DID. Most people have no idea what it's like living with a dissociative disorder. And while I'm not ashamed of my disorder, very few people in my own circle know about it. The reason that people don't know about it is because on the outside, I seem very normal and my job is to fit in. If they could really see what was going on inside my head, they would be amazed and shocked. Because the nature of DID is to protect us and to keep us safe, people don't know that we have DID. And so it's our job to fit in so no one could ever tell if there was anything wrong with us. On my good days, I consider all the parts in what I call headmates. I consider all my headmates to be a family. Now, just like every other family, we have our fights and our disagreements. We have our times of sharing and cooperation. But on the bad days, things aren't so bright. There are some days when I just want to be left alone. Having headmates, having people in your head all the time and hearing them talking and bickering and just their presence can be overwhelming. And sometimes I just don't want to hear it. There is an internal war that goes on with many casualties. And there's always a reason for the fighting or for triggering the headmates, such as someone might want to front more or come out and take control of the body more. Someone might be unapologetically engaged in self-destructive behavior, which can make the whole system feel unsafe. And some headmates may disclose what others feel to be too much information to our therapist, which triggers the battle also of feeling threatened and vulnerable to whatever is shared. With all this activity happening in my head at once, it raises the roof on my anxiety, which ironically just makes my headmates all the more active. When I'm anxious, they're active, and vice versa. When they're active, I become anxious. Even as I'm talking right now, I feel my headmates stirring and I feel them switching and watching what I'm doing and what I'm saying. Perhaps somebody right now is threatened that I may say too much in this video. So they are watching to make sure that I don't cross the line. All the while, no one has any idea what's going on inside my head. So there is no such thing as a day in the life of someone with dissociative identity disorder. The only constant is the switching and the chaos and the internal struggle and the headmates. So if you really want to know what goes on with someone with dissociative identity disorder, ask them if they are willing to talk. And just like with any other illness or disorder, depression, anxiety, bipolar, you never know what someone's going through unless you ask them. So please, don't believe everything you read and ask. It's okay. I'm Becca with Dissociative Living Blog at HealthyPlace.com.